Welcome to Ashland Middle School tonight. It's a matchup between the 0 and 2 Ashland Clockers and the 1 and 1 Hopkinton Hillers. Ashland lost to Westwood back on September 5th, 2 to 1 to open the season, and then on September 7th fell to Norton, 2 to 1 in a road match. The Hopkinton Hillers lost on September 5th against Holliston in their opener, 1 to nothing, but then beat Bellingham on the 7th, 10 to nothing. The Hillers 1 and 1, the Ashland Clockers 0 oh and 2. It is girls varsity soccer up next on HCAM. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ashland Middle School for Hopkinton Hillers girls varsity soccer on HCAM. Tom Nappy here on the call as the Hopkinton Lady Hillers welcome in the Ashland Clockers. And we are underway here at Ashland Middle School. A beautiful evening for some varsity soccer. It was raining earlier, but the rain has since went away and we are ready to go. As the ball now gonna go out of bounds along the near side. That was Sarah Simpson on the chase down for Ashland. Here's a throw in here, Maddie English on the throw in. And the headbutt out of bounds by Tiffany McCulis. Let's take you through the starters. We'll start off with the Ashland Clockers. Bella Tarabasi, Caitlin Curran, Elena Pellegrini, Heather Turner, Jess Rodriguez, Jessica Braden, as well as Lily Hellerman, Maddie English, Nina Gigliotti, Ryan Lima, and Sarah Simpson round out the 11 for the Ashland Clockers who are led by head coach Jensen Ship. We'll get the Hillers in just a moment as Sarah Simpson trying to break away with it. She's certainly a player to look out for and here she comes now into Hillers territory at the 15 yard line. There she goes to the net, over the goalie and in. An early goal for the Ashland Clockers. It's one to nothing. Sarah Simpson breaking free. And she went one on one with the whole with the Hillers goalkeeper, Natalie Calkins, and got the best of the battle. Less than two minutes into the first half. Sarah Simpson makes it one to nothing. And now for the Hillers starting eleven. Natalie Calkins is the goalkeeper. Sydney McDonald at midfield. Gabby Welding a midfielder. Maya Zen on defense, Allison Bird, a midfielder. Simpson trying to come away with it again there. Alexis Hasbro on defense. Delaney Mick is a forward. As here come the Hillers, Olivia O'Connor uh, at midfield. Megan Sullivan, a defenseman. And a save there by the Ashland goalkeeper. That's Lily Hellerman, the junior goalkeeper for Ashland. Riley Delaney, a defenseman, and Lily York, a midfielder. And we are continuing on here in this first half. Ashland with a 1-0 lead. A goal about a minute and a half in. As the Hiller is now putting Lily Hellerman to work. The Hopkinton Hillers led by first-year head coach Wayne Sygrove. And Coach Sygrove also does uh, works with the New England Revolution over at Gillette Stadium. The first year head coach of the Hillers. As Hopkinton will kick it away here. Goalkeeper and captain Natalie Calkins to air it out. Get some good air under this one. There's a pass over to Sydney McDonald. Now along the near side is Hasbro. Excuse me, Alexis Vile. Now down in Ashland territory, cleared away by Jess Rodriguez. Up the far side is Olivia O'Connor. O'Connor along with Elena Pellegrini in the corner. And out of bounds it goes. I believe that was off of Ashland. Maya Zent will put it back in play. Is an Ashland throw-in. So the Clockers have the throw-in here. 
here comes the Hillers trying to work their way back into Ashland territory. Along the far sideline, that's Allison Bird. Bird was trying to get it over to Delaney Mick, but denied by Ashland. Delaney Mick was cutting across the middle. Out of bounds that goes. A big crowd on hand here today for this one. We're early here in the first half. Along the far sideline. Here comes Ashland. On the chase down, that's Sarah Simpson. Cleared out of bounds. Was off of Hasbro. Throw in for Ashland. Maddie English on the entry. Put back out of bounds by Hasbro. English on the entry once again. Tripped up, English. In the danger zone. And that is going to be wrapped up by the Hillers goaltender. That was Sarah Simpson looking for the shot. Saved by Calkins. Ashland putting the pressure on here in these early minutes. Simpson getting it back in play. Up the field goes Megan Sullivan. Down the near side, Lily York. It's down in the Ashland territory towards Delaney Mick. There's Jess Braden for Ashland, another player to look out for. A lot of returning stars to this Ashland team. And here comes the Hillers. That's Sarah Simpson. Simpson looking for the cross there to Belly Tarabasi along the far sideline. And put out of bounds off of Megan Sullivan. Elena Pellegrini challenging along that far side, throwing for Ashland. On the entry. Simpson tripped up. Hillers trying to get back in Ashland territory. Chase down along the near side. Out of bounds it goes. Ashland throwing. Alexis Vile on the entry. Vile to York. Vile with the pass. Here comes Rodriguez. Back towards midfield we go. Gigliotti trying to put it back into Hiller's territory out along the far side. Hopkinton Hiller's first year head coach, Wayne Sygrove. Liking what he's seeing so far. Both teams starting off the season on a high note with a win. Throw in for Ashland here. Don't have a number 12 on the Ashland roster, so not quite sure who that is. Unfortunately, it's Delaney Mick with the pass back over to Megan Sullivan. Sullivan along the near side of Hasbro. Hasbro looking for an opening there. Now Sydney McDonald. Pass back over to Olivia O'Connor. For a sideline, out of bounds in front of my exempted goes. 
One nothing lead for Ashland here in this first half. And the Hiller is trying to put some pressure on. There's a header by Megan Sullivan along the far side. Jess Rodriguez now. Puts it out of bounds. Hiller's throwing. There's Delaney Mick trying to find Riley Delaney. That's Hasbro. And Hasbro with a shot there. That'll force Lily Hellerman out of the net. Hellerman to the near side. Just about 10 minutes into the first half. Throw in for the Hillers. Hasbro on the entry. Put back out of bounds. This one off of Maddie English. On the throw in is Hasbro. Alexis Hasbro to Tiffany McCullis. Back out of bounds off of Hasbro, I believe. Nope, another Hiller's throwing here. That one uh, went off of a clocker there, Simpson. She already has a goal today for Ashton. Sydney McDonald puts it back towards midfield. And my Zen tripped up, and Ashland has a break here. Look out. Here comes Ryan Lima. Lima over to Sarah Simpson. Simpson looking for a shot. And is going to get one off and a goal for Ashland. Sarah Simpson makes it two to nothing clockers. Ryan Lima on the assist. And Sarah Simpson gets it done. And just like that, the clockers up two to nothing. About 12 minutes into this first half. A little less. So far, so good for the Clockers. Allison Bird puts it up to McCullis. Out of the near side, Hasbro calls it out. Airs it out. There's Jess Braden. Back in the Hiller's defensive zone, Riley Delaney working against Billy Terabasi. Out of bounds it goes. It'll be a throw in for Ashland. Maddie English on the entry. English to Simpson. Two to nothing lead for Ashlyn. As we continue on in this first half, the Hiller is certainly going to need to put some pressure on. They'll have the free kick here. Alexis has broke on the free kick. And she'll put it down the near side and it is going to be off the chest of Delaney Mick. Out of bounds it goes. Well, Ashland winless coming into today's game. The Hillers one and one. A big win over Bellingham for Hopkinton. A 10 to nothing win back on the seventh. They started off with a loss against Holliston. One to nothing in their opener in a hard fought defensive battle. For Ashland, it was a two to one loss to Westwood and then a two to one loss to Norton. And that was the beauty of a free kick there by Hasbro, but a header out of bounds off of Simpson. And now the Hillers will have a throw in even further up in the attacking zone. Back out it goes once again off of Simpson. Hasbro will put it in play once again. Over to Delaney Mick. Left-footed pass. And 
Olivia O'Connor putting it up the far side and out of play. On the throw in for Ashland now is the unidentified number 12. And a sideline battle continues. Tom Nappy here at Ashland Middle School. Happy to be on the call. Throw in for Ashland. Certainly relieved the rain went away as it was raining pretty hard earlier. There's Hasbro out in front and it is scooped up by the goaltender, Lily Hellerman. Both teams about even in shots so far in this first half, but of course Ashland, well, they have the two goals. Hasbro. Over to McDonald at the center circle and now up the far side, O'Connor. Hiller is trying to put some pressure on here. There's a boot and Hellerman is going to be able to wrap it up. Went off her hands and then she Wrapped it up, that was Lily York who got the shot off. Out of bounds along the near sideline, Hasbro on the throw in. That was a, quite a boot there by York. That's from about 30 yards out. Back to the center circle, McDonald. Pass over, and along the far side we go. There's York. Here comes Gabby Welding. Welding! Some leg on that one, a little wide to the right. Almost halfway through this first half. Kick here, Lily Hellerman going to air it out. So good leg under that one. Header by McDonald. There's Jess Rodriguez over to the far side. And out of play. Megan Sullivan on the throw and for the Hillers. Sullivan with the pass across. Sarah Simpson getting in the middle. Sarah Simpson, both goals so far for the Clockers. Here comes Delaney Mick. Simpson puts it out of bounds. Nope, still in play, is just keeping it in is Sophia Shepard. Shepard up against Simpson now. Pass over to O'Connor. Here's Olivia O'Connor. Up the far side, over to Welding. Now to Lily York. And airing that one out is Sydney McDonald and Hellerman able to wrap it up. Good shot there by McDonald. The Hillers are getting some decent shots on net. Most of them, though, from a pretty far distance. They're certainly going to need to try to work their way into the attacking zone more and put some pressure on Hellerman. Throw in for Ashland. Maddie English on the entry. towards Simpson. Hasbro up against Simpson now. Back into the Ashland attacking zone. And Hellerman able to get rid of it. Allison Bird looking for a shot. 
Delaney Mick over to Bird. Now along the corner, it's Allison Bird. And out of play. Approaching the halfway point here of this first half, 2-0 Ashland. You're tuned in to Hiller's Girls Varsity Soccer on HCAM. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you. Lily Hellerman to clear it away. She gets it over to Lucy Watt, just recently came into the game. Miller is approaching the attacking zone. Cleared out by Maddie English. Along the far side, it's Lily York. Delaney Mick putting it in the danger zone for Ashland. There's a header and out of play off of Allison Bird. Hellerman with the boot here. Lily Hellerman certainly been busy these last few minutes. The Hillers starting to provide some pressure. She'll air this one out. Up to the far side, 30. Pass up by Jess Rodriguez. Now it's Holman. And out of play. My Zent on the entry. Battle along the far sideline. Pass by Lucy Watt. Put back into the clocker zone now. Hiller's really trying to ramp up the pressure here. And out of play. Along the near side. Hopkinton's been doing a good job over the last few minutes keeping it in Ashland territory. Maddie English. And now it's Lucy Watt. Pass to the far side. Sophia Shepard on the chase down. She goes up the sideline out of play. Maya Zent on the throw in. off of Maddie English. Header by Emily Murphy. Cleared away by Lucy Watt. And the chase down by Olivia O'Connor for the Hillers. Now up against Kate Merson. Throwing for Ashland. After a couple substitutions. The entry to Carly Holman. Turned around by Kate Merson. Here comes the clockers. Allison Bird going for it there. Back and forth we go here in the neutral zone. Hasbro comes away with it. Hasbro working against Pellegrini. Back to midfield. That is Allison Bird to Willie York. Up the far side, the chase down. And just able to get a foot on it there is the unidentified number 12. I believe it's Jess Braden is number 12, if I'm not mistaken. We'll go with that. I believe the captain, Jess Braden, is number 12 for Ashland. Up 
Up the far side, Sophia Shepard. She's listed on the roster as number six, but I haven't seen a number six out there for the clockers. Of course, the broadcaster always loves when the wrong numbers are on the roster. <laughs> Clockers working in the Hillers' territory. Lucy Watt. And it is kept in bounds for the moment. And out it goes. Throwing Hillers here. Hasbro. Pass out to Lily York. York. Trying to get it over to the far side. A shot here, and that is just wide to the left by Meredith Lesnick. Lily Hellerman with a desperate dive there, but just a little bit wide. Now Hellerman will clear it away. Cleared away. Over to the near side, there's Emily Murphy. Murphy with a pass over to Hasbro. Hasbro over to York with the shot and Hellerman able to wrap it up. Now on the near side, Emily Murphy trying to center it up and just missed her target there. That'll play it goes. Well, 14 minutes left to go in the first half. 2-0 Ashland here at Walker Field. Lily Hellerman set to kick it away. And that one is Sidney McDonald getting in front of it. Hellerman wraps that one up. Lily York from the corner. York over to Hasbro. Hasbro trying to center it up, and Hellerman comes out of the net and dives as Megan Sullivan got a piece of it. Sullivan certainly wanted to get a lot more behind that one. Here's the drop. Up the far side, Riley Delaney. Now along the near side on the cross pass. We'll get out of bounds. She's looking for Emily Murphy. Ashlyn on the throw in. Maddie English on the entry. Pass over by Sidney McDonald. Here's Megan Sullivan, and now a shot here, and that is a Hiller's goal. Delaney Mick with the goal for Hopkinton. It's a two to one game. A wide open opportunity, no one in front of her, and Delaney Mick takes advantage, and the Hillers are within one. That is just what Hopkinton needed. It comes with 11.40 and ticking left to go in this first half. The Hillers have been putting heavy pressure on Ashland over the last few minutes and at some point, something's gotta give. And it did for Delaney Mick with a beauty of a shot. Ashlyn on the throw in.
Clockers now trying to put some pressure on. I think they realize this game is now a far way from being over. Pass to Braden. This crowd has certainly grown uh, fairly quiet over the last few minutes. As the Hillers trying to steal away some momentum. Throwing for Ashland here. And here comes Delaney Mick on a break. Mick with a couple of defenders in front of her. Maddie English trying to break it up and she will. Good defensive effort there by Maddie. Delaney Mick. Certainly one to look out for if you're the clockers. Up along the far side, it's City McDonald. Out in front now on the chase down, there's Riley Delaney. Out of bounds it goes off of Maddie English. On the throwing. Hiller is working once again in Ashland territory. Sarah Simpson trying to change that. Here she comes up the near sideline. Put out of bounds by McDonald. Simpson on the throw in. Kate Merson is trying to get to it, and now it's Riley Lima. There's Jess Rodriguez. Ashland has had a hard time establishing any kind of control of the Hillers attacking zone over the last few minutes. Up the near side, Sydney McDonald. With possession now, Carly Holman. There's Lily Orr. We're up to Carly Holman. Now it's Jess Rodriguez. Up the far sideline, chased down by Elena Pellegrini. Pellegrini trying to center it up, and that is well out of play. <coughs> and that nice uh, gentleman over there with the dog helping out. Get the game ball back in play. It's like a big poodle kind of dog. Up along the near sideline. Here's Sarah Simpson. She already has two goals today. Centers it up, the header. And it is going to be wrapped up by the goaltender. Natalie Calkins. Elkins has not had to do a whole lot in the last few minutes, but Ashland gradually increasing the pressure with about seven and a half left here in the first half. Two to one, Clockers lead. Header by Simpson. Up the sideline by Simpson and out. Throw in Hillers, here's Hasbro. Back out it goes. Up along the far side, Pellegrini matched up with Megan Sullivan. It's been a fun matchup to watch this game. McDonald. Over to Zent. Good move there by Welding to get around the defender. Shot just a little bit wide to the left. Here is Lily Hellerman. And 
the air by Sullivan. McDonald. Over to O'Connor. On the far side. That play goes. Zent with the pass. Throw in Ashlyn. Maddie English on the entry. Good move there by Simpson to get around Tiffany McCullis. Simpson. Now it is Holman. Pass to reach Simpson there. Here comes Maddie English. Simpson trying to leave it for English. Cleared away. Tiffany McCullis. Pass. Back in Ashland territory. And out of play. Four minutes left to go in the first half. An action-packed first half. Two to one lead for Ashland, however. Will York trying to put it back in Ashland territory. Here comes Maddie Allen. Good move there by Simpson. Mikulis went out of bounds with it. Throw in clockers. Maddie English will take it. Over to Simpson. Good boot in the air there. There's Simpson getting by Mikulis. And out of play along the near side. Hillers will have the throw in. 2.48 and ticking left to go in this first half. And we get a whistle. Play once again. A free kick, rather, for the Hillers. City McDonald to take it. Good boot there, right into the Ashland attacking zone. Along the far side, Gabby Welding. Here comes Welding. Welding. Trying to center it up there. Get up by Lima. There's Sydney McDonald. Out of play along the far side. Throw in for Ashland. Back into Hiller's territory now. That'll force Calkins out of net. That one nearly got by Calkins as Billy Tarabasti was approaching. Over to Delaney. 
on the far side, Zen. Up the sideline and out. We are in the final two minutes of the first half. Two to one lead for Ashland. To the near side over to McCulis. McCulis tripped up. No whistle, however. Kulis met up with Simpson there. And that one will draw a whistle. As Nina Gigliotti and Allison Bird will Clyde there. Hillers will have a free kick. Sydney McDonald will take it. It's a good one, and that'll force Gigliotti out of the net. Or excuse me, Hellerman out of the net. Over to McDonald. Here comes Sullivan. Along the far side, Elena Pellegrini for Ashland puts it out. My Zent on the throw in. Over to Sullivan. Donald with the pass to her left. And that one is wrapped up as getting a piece of it was Delaney Mick. Delaney Mick with the only goal so far today for the Hillers. Off of McCulis. Here's Delaney Mick. Pass back over to Sidney McDonald. Turned around by Welding. Out in front of it was Pellegrini. And had a play along the far side. That will do it for the first half of play. After one, it's Ashland two, the Hopkinton Hillers one. Stick around, a long way to go here at Walker Field. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Girls Varsity Soccer on HCAM. A packed house here at Ashland Middle School and we are ready for the second half. Tom Nappy on the call to bring you Hopkins and Hillers Girls Varsity Soccer. A two to one lead for the Clockers. Sarah Simpson with two early goals for Ashland. And striking for the Hillers was Delaney Mick late in the first half. It was a whole lot of defense throughout much of the second half of the first half. After Sarah Simpson scored those first two goals, the Hillers really tightened up defensively. So we shall see what the second half has in store. As we have switched ends and clearing it away for Ashland is Lily Hellerman, their goaltender, a junior. The Hillers this season have five seniors on the roster and they have a whole lot of juniors, nine juniors and also five sophomores. Hellerman wraps that one up. Ashland has several seniors on their roster. A whole lot of returning players from last year. Good battle here. Just Braden is able to get possession up the near side. And out of play that goes. Throw in for Ashland. A little argument there about whose throw in it was between Olivia O'Connor and Ryan Lima. Lima gets thrown for Ashland. Now tripped up is Megan Sullivan. Ball goes back out of play. Throwing for Ashland. Clockers trying to put the pressure on here. Here comes Jess Rodriguez. 
way that one goes. Ashton will have the corner. Jess Braden will take it. There's Jess Braden. Trying to center it up. No one there. Jess Rodriguez had it and it was stolen away. Along the near side. Jess Braden trying to turn it around. That's out of play. Zent on the throw in for the Hillers. For those of you that didn't hear before, Hopkinton started off the season on September 5th, a 1 0 loss to Holliston. And on September 7th, a 10 0 win over Bellingham, who's a very young team. Ashland on September 5th started off with a 2 1 loss against Westwood, and then a 2 1 loss at Norton on the 7th. Clockers searching for their first win of the season as up the far side comes McCulis. McCulis up against Sarah Simpson. It is going to be Ashland Ball here. Maddie English on the throw in. by Simpson. On the far side, there's Sydney McDonald putting some leg behind that one and over the goal it goes and she's able to just tap it out. Lily Hellerman was just able to knock that one out of play. The Hillers will have the corner. It'll be Gabby Welding taking it. Hellerman got a hand on it, and she meant to wrap it up, I think, and just kind of tapped it over her head. There's Gabby Wilding on the corner, and that one's knocked out of play by McDonald. She'll actually have another corner here. It was off of a clocker, excuse me. Awaiting a game ball. So, corner kick take two for Wilding. There's this one out, and it is just past where she wanted to go with it. I think she was looking for a Riley Delaney. Along the far side. Back towards midfield. Hasbrook. Pass over to Zent. Out along the near sideline. Ashland throwing. Both teams exchanging a couple headers there. Wielding. Hellerman out of the net. Wraps it up. Airs it out. And there's Jess Rodriguez up against Lily York. And now Ashlyn looking for a break here. Cleared away by Calkins. Out along the far sideline, throwing Ashlyn. Maddie English on the entry. Riley Delaney. Up along the far side. Now it's Sidney McDonald. Oh, 
Just Braden, hard push there. That's going to draw a whistle. Just Braden going up against Allison Bird. And here comes Bird trying to strike back. And that is going to be wrapped up by Hellerman. Some pretty good leg there by Bird. Here by York. Caitlin Curran up against Allison Bird along the far side. Out of play goes. <laughs> Throwing for the Hillers. To McDonald. The knock by McCullis. And that shot going to be wrapped up by Hellerman. Nice one, I believe that was Megan Sullivan. The lights are on here at Walker Field in Ashland. There's Maggie Sullivan. Chase Dow on the far side. And getting to his Maddie English. And then out of play as Allison Bird was there to contest. Hiller's throwing. Looking for a whistle there. No whistle, however. These officials letting them play out there tonight. But it's been a very well played game by these teams a couple of pushes but nothing crazy as this shot's wide to the left by Maggie Sullivan or Megan Sullivan excuse me we are in the second half about 10 minutes in throwing for Ashlyn Megan Sullivan colliding at midfield Jess Rodriguez and McDonald and Hasbrook chase down Allison Bird up against Nick, Nina Gigliotti Bird able to keep it in but it'll sail out towards the near side Pellegrini gets to it and it will be cleared away by Hellerman. Some good air under that one. And out of play. Now we have a whistle here. It's going to be a free kick. Alexis Hasbrook will take it. Big opportunity to get back into the Ashland attacking zone. And cleared away. Hasbrook on the throw in. Jess Braden. Right out to the near side, throwing Ashland. There's Lily York. Out in front. Hellerman's going to wrap that one up. Pellegrini out in front of it is Olivia O'Connor. He's trying to put the pressure on. 
this second half so far has been largely controlled by Hopkinton. Natalie Calkins to clear it away. Natalie Calkins to clear it away. Control, Meredith Lesnick. Pass up to Lily York. Here comes York. Hillers with an opportunity here. Delaney Mick, and it's wrapped up by Hellerman. Mick with a nice shot there. She has the only Hillers goal so far tonight. Hopkinton starting to realize that, hey, it's the second half. we got to get a goal here. McDonald. And that's going to go out of play. Ashlyn Ball. Throw in English. Pass over by McDonald to Zent. Zent airs it out. Wide to the right. Hellerman to clear it away. Throwing for Ashland, Sarah Simpson will leave it. And taking it is Maddie English. To Simpson she goes. Bicycle kick there. Pass over by McDonald. To the other side. It's my Zent. Zent up to Lesnick. Here comes Lesnick, centering it up, cleared away. Clockers defense have been quick about getting it out of the attacking zone. It's been a back and forth battle here in the second half. 24-45 and ticking left to go in regulation. Throwing for the clockers. Yes, number 22! Lucy Watt, pass back. And out of play it goes. Throwing for the Hillers. Zent will take it. And I'll tell you, the Hillers head coach, Wayne Sagroove, certainly uh, has his team playing some very good defense. So Natalie Calkins wraps that one up. Of course, first year head coach, Wayne Sagroove, we mentioned. Works with the New England Revolution. So he certainly has some very good coaching experience. Up the far side goes Molly Andrews. Chased down by Nina Gigliotti. Cleared away by the goaltender Hellerman. And Hellerman will have to scoop that one up. I think the Hiller's approach here is just make the goaltender work. Get her out of the net any way you possibly can. There's Lesnick, Meredith Lesnick, pass over. Chase down along the near side. Put out a play by Olivia O'Connor.
Throwing for Hopkinton. Hasbrook will take it. At a play. Pass over by Maya Zent. Now to rally Delaney. Along the far side, it's Emily Murphy. Murphy up against Sophia Shepard. And out of bounds along the far side it goes. Throw in Hillers. Maddie English trying to clear it away. Break up the far side as McHugh is trying to slip away. Or actually, that's Hasbro. Excuse me. Hasbro on the throw in. It's been just back and forth defensive stands in the second half. Not a whole lot of excitement shooting wise, but some good defensive soccer. At midfield, on the near side, there's Meredith Lesnick, and out of bounds. Throwing for Ashley. over by Molly Andrews to McDonald back to midfield to Hasbrock well the question going forward is going to be who can get to the net who can force it into the attacking zone it's just been back and forth battles here at midfield these last few minutes my Zen out in front, an opportunity here. Megan Sullivan trying to get to it, but it's wrapped up by Hellerman. Pass over by Sullivan. Along the far side, Sarah Simpson is trying to break away with it. The Hillers have certainly keyed in on Sarah Simpson. She had the Two goals early in this game. But since that, she has been relatively quiet. And I have seen double teams on Simpson throughout much of this game since she got those two goals. They don't want to let her slip away. So they're keeping two guys in front of her. Or should I say two girls in front of her. Pretty much all game long. On the throw in, Maddie English. Up the sideline, Hasbro. Poked out of bounds. Rowan Hasbro. Pass up by Molly Andrews. Along the far sideline, Gabby Wilding trying to chase it down. A 
the play it goes. Maddie English will take it. Maddie English, a sophomore for the Clockers. Set to take it for Ashlyn is English after she uh, fixes her headband there. Along the far sideline, Lily York. Pass over to City McDonald. McDonald back to Sullivan. Maggie Sullivan out in front. And it's cleared away. Sullivan. Up the near side. Now a chase down. My Zent trying to get to it. Out of play it goes. Sophia Shepard will take it for Ashland. That one out of bounds. Donald put it off of a clocker. It is a Hiller's throw in by Zen on the entry. Well, I'd say Hiller's certainly have had uh, the majority of the control in the second half. Not a whole lot of shots from either team to speak of. Ashlyn has the throw in, Sophie Shepard on the entry. off of McCullis. Here comes Sidney McDonald. Pass up over to Welding. And now Hasbro trying to put some pressure on. Knocked out of play. It is going to be a throw in for the Hillers. Centered up. And back out of play. <laughs> and there's an attempt at a shot by Lily York wide to the left. Two to one lead for the Ashland Clockers. All three goals were scored in the first half. It's been a very quiet second half. Good defensive battles as Lily Hellerman clears it away. Out in front, cleared away by Caitlin Curran for Ashland. That's the near side. Maybe O'Connor centers it up. Here's City McDonald. Moves it out in front. Pass up by Megan Sullivan. Sullivan to Willie York. York down to the far side to Zent. And that shot is going to be wrapped up by Hellerman. Good piece by Zent. Getting down to the nitty gritty of the second half. Hiller is certainly putting a little more pressure on than Ashland has, but they're having a tough time establishing any presence in the attacking zone. Along the far side, Hasbrook, and Hasbrook meets up with Sarah Simpson. Some hard contact there. Free kick for the Hillers. Good boot by McDonald. There's Megan Sullivan. Well, whenever a Hopkinson and Ashland meet, really in any sport, you 
have to expect a hard-fought game. And that's what this game has been here tonight. As Hellerman clears it away. On the near side. Pass over by Delaney. Up by O'Connor. Battle here in the midfield zone. Along the side, chase down. And out of play it goes. Ashland throwing. A few substitutions will be made first. Don't forget, you can catch all the latest news on Hopkinton Hillers Sports over at our website, hcam.tv. We'll keep you informed all season long on how the Hillers are doing. Header by Megan Sullivan. Back out of play it goes. And we have a geese fly over here. The geese want to take some soccer in. Pass by Allison Bird looking for Delaney Mickle on the right side. Good boot there, but a little bit too wide. About ten and a half minutes left here in the second half. The score remains two to one. Not a whole lot of stoppage time, so. Miller's going to have to get something going relatively quickly here if they want a chance at some points for today. Miller's came into this game 1-1 one one on the season. Ashland comes in 0-2. Hawkers hoping to grab their first W. And with the way things were going early in this first half, you would have thought there would have been a whole lot more scoring than there has been now, but it has turned in to a defensive affair between these two TVL rivals. Up along the far side, K. Merson looking for a break. Put out a play. This will be a free kick. Just Braden on the free kick. After there was a little push there, so I think that's what drew it. Opportunity here, centered up, no one there. Well, Sophia Shepard was looking for Sarah Simpson, but I think she uh, got a little tripped up. It will be a throw in for Ashland. They're going to sub out a couple. Lena Pellegrini coming back into the game. Two to one clockers lead. Ashland trying to stir up some more pressure now. Cleared away by Lily York. Good contact there. York. Ball on the far side. That's taken by Maddie English. Cleared away by Hellerman. Uh, Lily Hellerman was busy in net earlier in this game. Second half certainly calmed down a little bit. There's a shot, and that is to the back of the net. Went off the fence behind the net. Gets a piece of that one, but a little bit 
too far to her left. Throw in Hillers. Ashlyn Ball. Maddie English takes it. Back out of play. Off of a Hiller. Jess Braden on the kick. Here comes Sarah Simpson, look out. She had the two goals for the clockers in the first half. Delaney Mick, the only goal scorer for Hopkinton. Laney Mick, she's a great player to look out for. She, she's a sophomore and certainly has a good leg and some good accuracy as well. She'll be the player to look out for for Hopkinton. An up and coming sophomore star as Lily Hellerman set to clear it away. Up the far side, here comes the Hillers. It's Delaney Mick. And a play it goes as she matched up with Jess Braden. Clockers fans starting to get excited here as we're getting down to the final few minutes of this matchup. Lily York to take the corner. Could be one of the last big opportunities for the Hillers. York airs it out, and it's cleared away. Nicely done by the Ashland defense. Pass by Gabby Wielding. Cleared away by, I believe, Sophia Shepard, that was. Alexis Hasbrook on the throw-in. Miller's quickly trying to rush it in to the attacking zone. You can always tell when you're getting down to the last few minutes of the game, you hear a lot more noise from the field. Good battle at midfield between Megan Sullivan and Jess Rodriguez. Here comes Ashlyn, a break here. Mercer looking for a shot. And nicely defended by Olivia O'Connor. O'Connor just slipped right in front of Mercer and denied her the opportunity. Miller is quickly back to Ashland's half of the field and we get a little trip up along the far side. Billy York and Sarah Simpson meet up. Eh, Simpson's had a couple of those, but she's not afraid to get in there and get a little physical. Good air under this one. Pass by Olivia O'Connor. Hiller's looking for a shot here. Ashland certainly doesn't want to give him one. And now, break by Simpson up the far side, stole it away. Hiller's trying to strike back. And that is going to roll wide to the left. Time quickly running out for Hopkinton. As we approach three minutes left to go in the second half. Hellerman going to take her time. Here comes Elena Pellegrini. Now matching up with Sidney McDonald. Along the far side in front of Delaney Mick. We'll have a throw in. Oh, 
Braden gets a foot on it. Braden up against Bird. That's out of play. This is going to be a corner for the Hillers. Or no, scratch that, a throw in. Gabby Wielding on the entry to Lily York. Hard contact there, no whistle. Play continues on. Hawker is trying to clear it out. Good air under that one, too much air. Out of play. Ashton will get a chance to kick it away. And they are in no rush as the Clockers just moments away from their first victory of the season. Up the far side and out. Miller is running out of time. That'll play that one goes. That was off of a Hiller. Lee Hellerman will air this one out. Uh, along the far side is Delaney Mickey and Maddie English throwing Ashland. Clockers fans can feel it. I'd say there's a little less than a minute to go. On the near side. Throwing for the Hillers by Zent. Cleared away. Zent with the header. Turned around by Bird. And down into the Hopkinton defensive zone. Nicely done by the Clockers. Well, the Hillers have put the pressure on all second half, but the Clockers have responded. And they have not let the Hillers get any opportunities. Throwing Hillers. Up the sideline goes Jess Braden. That'll do it. The Ashland Clockers get the 2-1 to -one victory over the Hopkinton Hillers. Ashland now one win and two losses on the season. Hopkinton is one win and two losses on the season as well. That will do it here from Ashland Middle School. I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time. Ashland defeats Hopkinton by a final score of 2-1. to one. We thank you for watching Hop Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Soccer on HCAM. Have a good night, everybody, and we'll talk to you again soon.